my name is Dominic and uh, I work for NT Youth Care. I am currently Deputy Manager. So obviously I'm office based now, um, but we do still go on the road, we do our calls with clients. Generally that's still the most rewarding part of the job. So we're going to be going to see a lady by the name of Jean. She is, I think, 89. Jean's been with us since January of last year. Because she lives close by to me, I used to go quite a lot. I started off as a massage therapist, and then I thought about how I could become more qualified in a medical sense. So I actually went to university, I studied occupational therapy. And so when I saw the advert for NTU's Care, which um, the advert was for emergency response, was assessments and stuff like that, is what sort of interested me. So I've been working for NTU's for about a year and a half. It's been a very supportive company. After I was employed, yeah, the, the support was 100%. My, my background, generally I've come from hospitality catering. What you're doing for people is completely different, but actually when you work in like a restaurant or a bar, you're, you're looking after these people and you're doing it for the way they want. And that's exactly the same as when you go into somebody's home. It's about looking after them, how they want it, we have to do it in a person-centered way, not how I want it. So yeah, it's about, it's about the client and it's about what they want and how you're gonna look after them. I think it's extremely rewarding. It really is quite humbling. So for example, I've got another client. Everybody knows him as granddad now, because I call it, oh, I wish he was my granddad. So it's like build up that kind of relationship. Yeah, so during lockdown, I think definitely the, the clap for carers and NHS staff definitely highlighted how important some jobs are and highlighted the role of healthcare staff in the community. Yeah, there's definitely progression in care because it's such a, a big industry and uh, it's only ever going to get bigger. We've got about 30 to 40 percent of our workforce are male. So I think that the kind of stigma about, around that isn't quite as, as much as it was. Not having a car is definitely not a barrier. We got walkers, cyclists. We even had one young lad who went around on a skateboard. I actually do quite enjoy teaching people. I used to really enjoy having um, shadowers that had never done care before, because you're like starting with a, a fresh slate, as it were, a blank page. Yeah, it's kind of rewarding to see them progress.